Hello everyone, welcome to um, Blogging with Rosa. I just came here um, to do, you know, a quick video. Um, sorry about the messy hair. <laughs> Um, but, um, why I haven't, you know, been blogging. I've been pretty busy. Um, I have a job. So, I've been working. Um, so, if I get any, like, you know, um, like, break, you know, free time, I'll definitely vlog. Um, so, it's been a while, yes. So, um not trying, you know, to, um, like, <laughs> take forever to do a vlog, but, um, yeah, so, my weight loss journey is going good, um, I weighed myself, I think it was this morning, I weighed 153, um, still in the 150s, that's awesome, Great. Yes. So, I'm trying to get a 149. I know I can't ever put my heart into it, and I can do it. So, as you can see, like, his face kind of got a little skinny. But, um, I'll lose some more weight. So, once I get to 149, I want to... Once I get to 149, I want to get to, like, 140. So, I can do it. I have got my heart into it. So I really haven't been exercising. Um, but um, I'll, you know, get to the routine of it again, you know, when I'm not working and I have um, free time. So I hope you guys enjoy your summer um, and, um, you know, enjoy it with your family. And enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening. Um, so... Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know that I probably won't get a lot of likes or comments. Um. But, um. Uh. Yeah. The last video I did, I, I did get a comment. And. I, I was so mad because I couldn't comment back on the person. So, uh. If you do comment, like, you know, thank you so much. Because, you know, I'm like, I'm opening my heart to everyone. And, you know, this is YouTube. And it's, you know, certain things that get likes. And so, um, I don't know, you know, I enjoy doing vlogs. But I don't know if I could do it, like, full time. So, um, hopefully, you know, it'll work out. And, you know, if this is for me, then... It's for me, if not, then, you know, I won't be, you know, upset or anything, um, but, um, you know, I leave it all in God's hands, and what he has for me is for me, if not, then it's not for me, you know, there's, I watch, you know, vlogging videos on here on YouTube of different people, and I was like, oh, well, how do they do it, you know, how they are successful, you know, and... Um, I just think that, you know, is just be yourself. Like, I've watched Inspiration Vlogging here, family, and they're just saying, you know, be yourself, you know, and not change nothing. So, uh, this is me. Like, I'm being myself, like, you know, and I'm saying, like, don't give me likes because you see me on here. Don't comment. Just, you know, like, you know, view it, whatever. And I'm just here, like, inspire people and... I'm just here, like, to be, like, a motivational speaker, and, you know, like, if I don't do this often, it's because I have a life outside of, you know, vlogging and outside of YouTube, and I have a life, so, you know, it's people that they have, you know, you know, they're free, they don't, you know, they have family, but it's like, they're not, like, tied down. What I mean by tied down is, like, you know, like, um, so, like, they have a lot of free time. So, me, is I get some free time, but, um, 
Uh, so, you know, um, if I had more free time, I mean, I could do this, like, for a living, but I don't see myself doing this for a living. I have other goals and aspirations and, you know, that I want to achieve, and so, um, I hope this video touches each and one of you. I mean, um, I don't be upset when I see these vlogs and, you know, people, you know, getting famous is that's it's not for me i mean if if there was a chance that ellen or you know the view um um not oprah because oprah doesn't have a show anymore so steve harvey if steve harvey was watching this the ellen uh ellen um today show the view um, you know, if any famous people was watching this, I, I would not want to get, you know, famous, um, because I'm, like, I like to be behind the scenes, like, not in the scenes, so I'll do these, you know, videos once in a while, but if Steve Harvey or Ellen were to see these videos, I would be honored to be on their show. I was wanting to be on the Ellen show. I was wanting to go meet Steve Harvey and Ellen. Um, so, um, hopefully, maybe one day, um, I'll I'll get to see them. You know, um, I would love to go see them. Um, so, but I leave it all in God's hands. And he, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. There's been a lot of talk, um, I, a lot of, um, on Facebook, Black China and Rob Kardashian. Um, I mean, they're both celebrities. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't think Rob should have done that, and... I'm not taking sides because I really don't know them. Like, they're celebrities. Like, I could care less what they do with their life. I could care less what Black China does with her life and Rob Kardashian. I just think that, you know, um, it, it, it was dirty laundry. I mean, you don't put out your dirty laundry on Facebook and social medias. Um, well, he didn't put it on Facebook. Rob Kardashian, he put it on Twitter and Instagram, and I think that, uh, um, excuse me, um, I think that when you put your dirty laundry out on social media, like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, um, you're really opening, you know, a can of worms. What I mean by can of worms is, you're really letting people know your personal life, what's going on it, and, um, you know, you, you really, before Facebook came about, it was MySpace, a lot of people put their business on MySpace, then it was Facebook, then it became Twitter, then Instagram, then Snapchat, so really is, um, I don't think Rob should have done that, I think it, you know, what, Bother me the most is when he said, I prayed about it, I know that you were cheating on me. Like, okay, you know, yeah, you know, um, um, I think it was wrong, you know, for him to do that. You know, like, I think is, they should have been both adults and say, you know what, we're going to end this in peace and that's it. Rob took it to a whole new level that he wanted to expose Black China, and he did it. And now she went to court and filed a restraining order on him. And on in California, there's a law revenge porn. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm not a lawyer, so I don't really don't know what that means. I think is when you break up with somebody, or you know, I. I believe is, um, I mean, they were breaking up. I mean, they broke up, you know, and 
their relationship was broadcast on Facebook, or, you know, Twitter, Instagram, and, and all that, you know, TV, whatever. So it's like, you know, really, I would not do that. If I was, you know, in a relationship with somebody for so long, and we decided to, like, break up, I would not expose their dirty laundry. Like, I would not do that. I would just, just leave it alone. Like, you know, like, it wasn't meant to be. You know what I mean? Like, I would never do that. And I would feel hurt if somebody that I loved and cared about and gave my whole life to did that to me. I would feel hurt and definitely I would not talk to that person ever again. I wouldn't even look at that person. Because I feel like you broke my trust. Like, I trust you. So, you know, um, so be careful, people, what you put on on social media. And, and especially, like, on Facebook, you don't want to put that you're in a relationship because... There's people that are haters. They hate on people who are in a relationship. You keep your money to to yourself. You keep your relationship private. You keep every aspect of your life private of social media. Because there's people that are haters. They hate because you're successful. They hate because you got a good man that it is treating you like a queen. So I'm saying this for all the ladies, and not all the ladies, but the fellas too, because I like to include both sexes, like, you know. So, fellas, if you have a girl, like, keep your relationship private, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can post lovey-dovey pictures, but I would tell you, there's people that are haters, they hate because you're in a relationship, and they're not. So, they will try anything to break up a happy home in a happy relationship. Um, so, it's girls that are conniving and are rude. So, you know, and spiteful and petty. Um, so, but, my thing is, when you break up a relationship, like, you don't put your business out on social media, because it goes around, I mean, people are going to talk about you, you know, the whole world, you know, it's not just, like, your, not just your family, your friends, but the whole world's going to know, oh, she's going through a breakup, she's telling all her dirty laundry, so I say, you know, keep it to yourself. Keep your relationship private. Keep your money matters private. And nobody has to know. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.